It causes issues with your stomach. It can cause insomnia, anxiety. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Coach Marie here with another video. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm talking about. So we're gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna hop right into it. So if you have not already, if you have not watched the previous video, which was um, titled, Are Your Kids Really Vegan? Hmm, you can do that because some of the things I talked about will be um, a touch point in this video. And again, this video is the ugly truth about gelatin. Um, we're going to talk about some harmful effects. As always, keep in mind, notes are here. I don't want to miss anything. So as you all know, gelatin, we discussed last time or last week, gelatin is um, a formula composed of animal bones, tendons, skin, all the stuff that comes from the pigs and the cows. It creates a formula. That formula goes into... Um, yogurts, marshmallows, vaccines, medications. They use gelatin for a lot of different things. It can be put in just about anything. So again, it is composed of animal, dead animal, pigs and cows, which as a vegan, vegetarian, we don't do that. Um, we love animals. Well, for the most part, I'm sure y'all do if y'all are watching um, and hear me talk about veganism. I hope y'all do. But again, we love animals and um, Again, with the gelatin, when it goes into the process of going into foods, it is composed of oils, chemicals, the um, gelatin, and then dyes, different dyes, red 30, blue dyes, blue 30, or whatever have you. So just keep that in mind when you are eating different things that do contain gelatin. Again, it's not vegan. So I just want to share with you all five harmful facts. Um or hot, five harmful things that gelatin does to your body and why it's not healthy for you. So again, notes are here. The first thing, a gelatin can cause a very nasty taste in your mouth. Not only that, it causes your stomach to be bloated. Um, you feel heavy. You just don't feel so good with digestion. So um, if you are one who have issues with stomach pains, um, just anything to do with the stomach, not going to the bathroom on a regular, do an inventory. Remember, we talked about an inventory of your food list and figure out what you are eating. Look at those ingredients to see what contains or what it contains or if gelatin is in those things. So the second thing, gelatin can cause an allergic reaction and it can be severe enough to damage the heart and even cause death. So you mean to tell me, if I'm eating a product and it's possible that it can cause me to have heart issues or die, or if I take a vaccine that contains gelatin, you mean to tell me that it's possible that I die? Yes, it is possible that you can die. So again, be mindful, be careful of what goes in your body. Treat your body like it's a temple. Just treat it that way. Be mindful and know that everything that is advertised as healthy everything that is advertised by the media be conscious and understand that it's not always healthy or good for you um the third thing and it goes back to the digestion it can cause upset stomach um bloating constipation um and overall it can irritate ibs and um make you call make you have flare-ups with IBS. So again, when it comes to IBS, that's all that is related to the gut, to the stomach. If you are one who have issues constantly, you're always gassy, you can't poop, you go days without pooping, um, excessive burping, what have you. If you are one of those, it, it starts with the food. Sorry, it starts there. So again, gelatin is one that can irritate all of those um, really hard on your gut. And then the fourth thing, gelatin can cause anxiety and insomnia in some people. So trouble having sleeping uh, or getting some sleep, trouble with, you know, life feeling out of control. What are you eating? If it contains gelatin, it's a problem. Let it go. And then the final thing, friends, um, I want to say is Gelatin, different types of gelatin, 
but gelatin can contain heavy metals. With heavy metals, that can cause you to um, have issues with MS, um, Alzheimer's, or any of those other kind of illnesses or diseases um, that can happen within your body. So keep in mind, so just to recap, what gelatin does, it does not taste good. It causes issues with your stomach. It can cause insomnia, anxiety, um, IBS flare-ups. You can die, allergic reactions, and it can promote or trigger illness or disease such as MS, Parkinson, or um, what was the other one? Alzheimer's. So please keep that in mind that gelatin is not always good for you. Read the labels. Do not give your children any kind of candy that is contained or has gelatin inside of it. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if it does, okay? So um, it was something else I wanted to talk to you all about when it comes to the ugly truth about gelatin, which is the process that the animal goes through. Um, when it comes to animals, a pig or the cow, um, just keep in mind that the poor animal is taken from their natural state. When they're taken from their natural state, they go to the slaughterhouse. The slaughterhouse is exactly what it sounds like. They're slaughtered and you're eating this. It's not good. When they go to the slaughter, then it goes to um, package and then goes to the manufacturing company. From there, it goes through a process to help you go from pig, like a normal pig living, dead pig, um, broken bones, skin. Um, what else does it do? From the broken bones to skin, it creates this formula, this jelly, this this trash that does not belong in your food and your body. Stop eating this, sh please. I just, I cannot. I know it's hard to control your eating habits, but some things they really put in our food to really F us up. And again, if you are one with any of the issues that I listed on a regular, once you take an inventory of your you know, take an inventory of your ingredients or in the things that you are intaking. Check out the ingredients and make sure that nothing contains gelatin. If anything does, you go to your kitchen and you throw it out right away. Okay? So, again, um, not only is gelatin bad for the body, the poor little animals go through a very, very, very bad process, and it's just not healthy, it's just not nice, it's unethical, um, and it's just not something I want or I want my daughter or future children to have. So again, just think about that. Um, and I think that's just about all I want to share with you all. Again, some other notes, if you want to get into detail more about what the animals are going through. Um, they inspect the animals, make sure that the animal, the poor little animals don't have any boils or cancerous bumps or anything like that on them. From that point, they roast the animal. It goes through a treatment. They are boiled, and then they um, package it with different colors and fla um, chemicals, flavoring, things like that, natural flavors. You know what I mean? But again, friends... Um, if you haven't already and you like the content, I hope you all are learning some stuff from this channel. I will be more than grateful if you give this video a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel. I am being more active on this channel, getting videos out um, at least one a week. There will be more to come. I'll try to get up to two, but right now for sure it will be one video a week. Um, and I guess if you haven't already, follow me on social media, Instagram, The Herbal Flower. I thank you all, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.